Did you know some Roman concrete is over 2,000 years old and still standing? Modern concrete? It cracks in decades. What's their secret? Let's dive in. First, Romans used volcanic ash instead of Portland cement. Mix it with water, and even seawater, and it grows stronger over time. Scientists call this rare mineral aluminum tobermorite. It literally turns concrete into rock over centuries. That's why harbors, piers, and underwater structures lasted so long. But what about buildings far from the sea? Romans had a clever trick called opus testaceum. Two brick walls, filled and tightly packed with concrete. Minimal water, maximum compression, walls that never crumble. And they only used concrete in compression, never tension. Columns, arches, and domes designed to press, not pull. Modern bridges, steel reinforced, strong but steel rusts. Rust expands, cracks the concrete, and weakens the structure. Roman concrete avoided that. No steel, no rust, no decay. Every ingredient, every method was meticulously engineered. Even small tweaks made massive differences in strength. Some researchers call it a self-healing material. The Pantheon in Rome still stands, almost 2,000 years later. Ordinary modern buildings? Forget a century without repairs. Imagine if we built everything like the Romans did, roads, bridges, homes, lasting millennia instead of decades. But would we pay the cost, space, and labor required? That's why Roman concrete remains a lesson lost to time. Incredible durability, hidden in volcanic ash and smart design. Could we ever rediscover this ancient secret for our modern world?